What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here in Zimbabwe and if you guys have been following along this journey, it has been an amazing time here. Nick and his dad and the crew have been amazing. And on our last day here, this afternoon we have the opportunity to see some of the poaching that is going on in this area we've been talking about it the whole trip obviously it's something that I'm concerned with and I know you guys are probably concerned with it as well so I'm here to try to spread the correct information through these guys I didn't know too much about it until I came here with my feet on the ground to see the situation and I still don't understand it fully but right now we're at the boundary of the property that they manage and we're gonna send the drone up to see just what the boundary looks like. Let's see what happens. Pretty easy to see the divide from the road even with the camera as I turned it but once we sent the drone up it was pretty powerful to see just how vast the left side was compared to the right side and the reason for that is because there's people living there and they're farming and the farming isn't necessarily bad but it has to be done in a balance with the farming chipping away at these natural areas like you saw on the left side the animals are forced into smaller areas and it's not good for them it creates more competition and ultimately lower numbers of animals it squeezes them into very tight areas and takes them out of those areas that they would be in there's really not much left besides the farm plants you obviously don't see any trees no elephants probably not even a rabbit would be over there it's pretty sad that on this trip I've been here for about 14 days and we haven't been able to see a rhino in its natural habitat and that's just because number one it's the rainy season, the bush is very, very thick, but their numbers have been decreasing and they are highly protected in this area, which is a very good thing. But right now we're in an area where the guys have found a poaching line, which means people use snares on this side of the boundary, on the left side of the boundary, which isn't their land. They're not supposed to be here, but they set these snares up to catch food for their family. So it's a very tough situation, but the guys have found something up here. Let's see what they found. So the guys have found a snare line, like I said, and sadly, you can see the results of it. Obviously, this animal hasn't gone to waste because something has been here eating it, but it died a very, very slow and sad death. It was struggling on this line. You can see that it is noosed and snared around the neck. This big wildebeest here was coming through probably with a huge group of them, as you guys have seen in shows and movies before. And this snare line, they have one here that they've pointed out. They would set them up on these pathways leading to this watering hole that's in front of us. All of these paths would be filled with these snares because they can use that wire almost endlessly and it's relatively cheap for them to get. Cheaper than a gun, cheaper than any other tool. Once the animal's head goes into here, you can see that that animal can't get away and the only thing to do is to pull especially with those horns that stick out the back there that thing is not coming off and this does not only catch game like wildebeest this will catch a lion this will catch a leopard this can catch anything that can slip in here even an elephant foot can cinch down it'd probably be about that big but it would make a laceration around the elephant's foot it might pop it off but that could cause the elephant's foot to not be mobile again maybe for its whole life that infection out here would get really, really rough and that elephant would not be able to make it very long potentially. So if you come back here, sadly, this guy over here did not make it, but like I said, it seems that the animals have been able to use some of its resources. What we have to do here now is take off this poaching snare and remove the rest of the line down the way so that hopefully no more animals end up like this.
so it seems we've removed all of the snares in this area for now but we have to keep coming out here and checking areas like these usually once a poacher finds that their snares have been taken they won't return to the same area so that's a very good thing but it costs a lot of money and effort and time to try to find these guys out here you could imagine how hard it would be to find someone out here there's no wi-fi little cell reception so it takes men being on the ground and that's where i feel that we can help this situation i would love to help these guys get a drone and have you guys help donate so i'm going to put a link down below so that they can use a drone here for anti-poaching purposes the drone is just faster and can get to the destination where they've heard dogs run by poachers heard poachers using dirt bikes and i feel it would be the best next step at protecting animals on this property but again it takes a lot of effort and time for these people and a lot of the money that supports these anti-poaching units in this area comes actually from hunting a lot of people don't realize it but hunting supports more conservation than you could ever imagine and in some areas they're able to have photographic places but here it's very hard to get people to come out to take photographs I've tried my best to take some photos and I'll share them with you on social media if you follow me there but some people can't get out here for the photographics and other support of tourism so the best way to get funding into here has only really been hunting the ability to be out here today and find these poaching snares and remove them from this area is directly coming from hunting so it's really a tough situation over here I'd love to further educate you guys about it with more videos as we come back to Africa in the near future but we are going to head to another area now and you'll see what's over there on our last day of the trip my friend and his dad showed me one of the most powerful examples of poaching in Africa. This is the skull and remains of a beautiful bull elephant. It's really sad to see this as we come to an end on this African adventure, but this is the reality of what is happening to these amazing animals. But we don't want to end on such a sad note there is hope for these animals and I believe you and I can help save them. I'm going to be creating merch soon with proceeds going back to conservation. The link is down below to donate for the drone and I hope we can reach our goal quickly. As always, thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. Subscribe if you did enjoy this video and want to see more from Africa and I will see you guys next time.